Yes. Yeah, let's all settle down in Sukhasana. Hope you have your chair and your a pillow, a hard pillow, which I had mentioned in the group with you. If not, we'll see what we can do. Okay. If you have it, please keep it next to you. All right. Bring your spine to an erect position. <clears throat> Getting the neck in line with the spine, rolling the shoulders back. Feel that space between your chest. Close your eyes. Let us adapt chin mudra. It takes some time to align your body. Take, a, take that all the time. To align. Feel the change in your breath when your spine is erect. Check your mood when your spine is erect. It's impossible to feel down or low when your spine is up and right. Feel that breath filling you with so much of energy. Fill your lungs with full air inside. Exhale out completely to remove all the air from the lungs. Deep inhalation, complete exhalation. As you continue with the slow breathing in and out, you'll find your mind, body settling down and becoming ready for the next one hour of practice. So let us chant three Om Karas. Invoke the energy of Om. Enjoy the energy of Om. Inhale. <coughs> uh... Enjoy the after effect of Omkara. The after effect of Omkara or any chanting the a o ma kara you feel a sense of silence just experience in next like practices if you can experience it there was so much of sound and suddenly it becomes quiet no matter what sounds you can hear from outside there's inner deep silence within you try to experience that next time now bringing your palms together <laughs> let us start with the starting prayer Inhale. Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bunatu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvi Navadhi Tamastuma Vishavahai Om Shan Shanti, Shanti. <clears throat> Gently bow down in front of your Ishta Devata. 
you start to rub your palms a little heat. Stop your eyes. Release your hand, look into your palms. Okay. So we we'll start with Dandasana today. Legs spread out, hands behind for support. Okay, hands behind, not too slouch the back. Keep your back straight. This is just for a support. Okay, legs together. Start rotating around your ankles. With your toes, you'll start making big circles clockwise together. Four, three, two, and then one. Reverse. Six, five, four, three, two, <clears throat> and one. Gently stop the practice. Awareness on your ankles. Let's see how it feels. Okay, next practice. Legs together. Just watch me before you practice. Let your hands be behind for support. Maybe you can take your hands little behind, slightly behind. Now bend the left knee closer to your hip and then slowly drop the leg to the side. Get it back to center. Stretch it out. We'll do this only on one leg for five times. Okay. Bend it. Drop it. Bend it again closer. Stretch it out. Okay. You might need to lean back a little bit so that the knee is coming close to your chest, right? Should not feel it uncomfortable. So while dropping, please drop it carefully. Don't just leave it like that, okay? With control, stretch out. Two more on the same side. Stay with normal breath. Drop it down. Stretch out one last time. Knee bent, hip opened. Knee bent, stretched out. Relax the side with you. Did right now. Let's do it on the other leg. Fold it. Open out. Fold it again. Stretch out. Four more. Two more. Do it slowly. One last time. And stretch. Relax your hip joint, knee joint. Coming to Sukhasana from here. <coughs> okay, do a simple twist. But first take your hands interlocked at the heart to your chest. Slowly take it up. Let the fingers point up. First set your spine tall. Stay here. Let your biceps be in line with your ears if possible. Even if your elbows are bent, it's fine. But take it close to the ears. Straight is wonderful. Stay here. Two. And one. Now slowly twist to the right side. Drop your hands one at a time. Right hand on the left knee. Sorry, left hand on the right knee. Right hand behind your hip. And twist back. While you twist back, you lift the spine up, chest up. And then look back. Very good. Let us stay there for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. Once again, hands interlocked. Lift the spine up. Hands by biceps in line with your ears. Once you're ready here, with an exhalation, twist to the left side. Drop the right hand on the left knee. Left hand behind for support. Lift the spine up, chest lifted up, then twist back. You're working on twisting the spine. So your twist should be felt around the waist, around the navel. Stay there, three. There you go, two. And one. Slowly come back once again, hands up. Inhale there. Exhale and take your hands down. Exhale. Okay. Bring, or bring all your fingertips onto the shoulders. Get your elbows close to each other. Start to make circles with your elbow joint. Going forward to back. So inhale, take the elbows up. 
And as you exhale, get the elbows down. Let's do this for four more cycles. With awareness, nothing is monotonous here. Every action, every movement you are aware of. One more circle. So reverse, back, up, <coughs> forward, down. Going for four more of these. Great if you can link your breath with the movement. Nothing like it. One more. Okay. After you're done with five cycles, release your hands, relax, and bring your awareness to the shoulder and feel the after effect of the practice. Once again, we'll come to Danda. We worked on a few major joints. So we'll work on our abs and the lower back. Okay. So knowing next practice is called Nauka Sanchanasana, where you will enact a, um, a boat who is going to row the boat. Okay. So hands by the side of your chest, fingers um, in a fist. So inhale, raise your hands up. Exhale, bend towards your toes, and then inhale, lean. You're making big circles, rowing the boat forward. Exhale when you bend forward. Inhale when you go back. How much should you go back? Is when you feel a certain tightness in your abs, the upper abs, you'll feel certain tightness. You cannot go fully down till then and exhale as much as possible. Going for four more. Forward rowing. People having shoulder pain. Very difficult to raise the hands. What you can do, just raise the hands this way or drop the hands down. Just do this back and forth. This is also fine. If your shoulders hurt and your upper back is not good today, paining. So you can do this. Comfortable. Last round of forward rowing. And we do six more of backward rowing. But again, exhale. When you bend forward, inhale and go back. So tired, you can rest. But if you can, continue for four more. Three. Two. And one. Come back. Adjust your sit bones, adjust your legs. Relax in Shitila Dandas. Observing what you feel around your back, your Core, abs, arms, shoulders. Relax your body. Okay. Next practice. People having knee issues. Okay. I recommend you to make a cushion out of your own mat. Okay. If cushioning is the problem. Uh, if because if, if too much of pressure is on the knee, you might feel the pain. So I can suggest you this. If you have intense pain, Please avoid this. Okay. If you're okay, I recommend all of you to do this. Fold the mat forward a little bit. Okay. So that there's a three layer now and place your knee on top of that. So naturally, there's a cushioning for your knee. It becomes easy for you to do the back. Okay. Toes are out. You can see me. You'll come standing on your knees. Okay. People with knee issues. Don't do it at all. Back pain, please avoid. Just rest and take some breath and relax. Fine? Now, you'll do a by half Ustrasana only today. We are not doing full Ustrasana. Take your hands behind. Elbows are not to the side. Slightly back, so we're closer to the body. How will you support your back? It's like this. The thumb will be closer. All the four fingers will support your lower back. Okay? We'll start from working on the lower back. And then we'll move on to the middle back and the upper back. Okay? We'll go stage by stage. Fine? Now we'll do a dynamic practice just to loosen up. Pushing the hip forward. Center. Four. Center. Work only on the lower back. Three. Center. Two. Center. And one. Center. <clears throat> okay? 
Now we'll start working on the upper back and the middle back. So push the hip forward, open your shoulder and chest, point the chest to the ceiling. Come back. Do this five, four more. Hip forward, chest up, come back. Hip forward, chest up, come back. Just two more. Two. One last time. One. Now we'll try to hold Ardha Ushtrasana. If everyone is okay, okay, you'll take the chin up and drop your head back. Okay, I'll show you. Please don't do it right now. This is how Ardha Ushtrasana will look like. If you're comfortable, you will take the head back, dropping the head behind. So people who are having vertigo issues will have a big problem when you take the head back. Hypertensive, heart issues, no way. You're not doing that. You can just stay here, enjoy that back head. Others, if you're completely fine, let us try Ardha Ushtrasana. Push the hip forward. Open your chest and shoulder. If you're comfortable, you drop the head back. And let us stay here for three. Keep breathing. Two. And one. Feel a good strength in the, sorry, stretch in the posterior, sorry, anterior part of your body. And gently, very slowly, come back. Next straight. Very good. Get your hands down. Release that fold in the mat. Widen your knees slightly. Let us rest in Sashankasana before we move ahead. A counter practice. Slowly drop the forehead down, stretching your hands in front. Relax your back, lower back, middle back, upper back. Back bends are not easy for everyone. It takes time for your body to get used to. Most importantly, your mind may not be ready for a back bend. We slowly take it. We can reach anywhere. Right? After you've rested, slowly come back. Take your time to come to a standing position, however you want to come. <laughs> we'll be doing Surya Namaskara. Hope everyone is okay with doing Surya Namaskara. Okay. Face towards, face your face the sun. Now it's a setting time for Indians. Others, it could be the rising time. So face wherever the sun is. Hands in Namaskara Mudra. Close your eyes. A small prayer to take the blessings from Surya Narayana. For the right path in our life. May he guide us in every step of our life. Visualizing the bright sunlight. Bright and brilliant light falling on the universe, falling on us. Inhale. Om Hiranmayena Patrena Satyasya Vihitam Mukham Tatvam Pushanna Pavrino Satyadharma Yadrishtaye Om Ram Mitraya Namaha Om Hrim Ravahe Namaha Sorry. Okay, let's begin the front side of the mat. First practice, inhale. Hasta Uttana. Exhale, forward bend. Palms next to your feet. Slowly take the right leg back. Inhale, In your right knee drop, right toe out. Ashva Sanchana, chest open. Press the palms, tuck the toe in. Lift the knee up to get the left leg back into Dandasana. Knees down. Hip back into Shashanka. Inhale, come up. Exhale, chin and chest down. Ashtanga Namaskara. Elbows close to the body. Slide up, full body down. Inhale, chin, chest only to the navel for Bhujanga. Slide back and gentle. Tuck the toes in, lift the knees up, hip up to Adho Mukha with an excellence. Knees down. Hip back, Shashanka once again. So we get your right leg in between your hands. If it doesn't come, use the other right hand to get it in line with both your hands. 
Again, press open, lift the head down. Excellent. Get the left leg forward. Forward bend. Inhale up, Hasta Uttani. No. Let's try on the left side. Exhale first. Inhale. Arch back. Father Hasta. Palms next to your feet. Left leg back. Take the right leg back. Dandasana. Shashanka. Ashtanga. Bhujanga. Let it be a nice back bend. Inhalation. Exhale. Adho Mukha. Knees down, hip back. Shashanka. Left leg forward. Right leg forward. Inhale, arch back again. Exhale, Namaskar. Round two. We'll be doing three rounds, three sets today. Be ready. Round two, right and left. Exhale, one. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, forward bend. Taking your right leg back. Left leg back, Dandasana, core strong, arm strong, whole body strong. Shashanka. Ashtanga, inhale up, exhale while you get your chin and chest down. Inhale, Bhujanga, elbows close to the shoulders away from your neck. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Shashanka. Right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale up, exhale, namaskar. And on the left side now, everyone is okay, continue, otherwise relax. Inhale, hasta uttana, forward bend, left leg far back. <coughs> Dandasana, Shashanka, Ashtanga, chin and chest down, Ujanga, Adho Mukha, Shashanka, left leg in between your hands, right leg forward now. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, namaskar. Going to the last round, only if you're comfortable. Otherwise, relaxing Shavasana or Shashanta. Let's go for <laughs> last round. Exhale, one. Arch back. Forward bend. Right leg back. Left leg back, Dandasana. Knees down, hip back, Shashanka. Exhale, Ashtanga. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, exhale, Shashanka. Inhale, right leg in between your hands. Left leg forward. Inhale, arch back. Namaskar. Last on the left side. Inhale. Arch back. Enjoy each pose. Forward bend. Left leg back. Dandasana. Shashanka. Ashtanga. Pujanga. Adho Mukha, Shashanka, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale, <coughs> arch back, exhale, excellent, 
ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸೂರ್ಯನಾರಾಯಣ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸವಿತ್ರ ಸೂರ್ಯನಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮುಖದ ಅವತಿ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಬೆಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ನೀಸ್ ಬೆಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥೈಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಯುವರ್ ನಾಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲೋ ಔಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಯುವರ್ ಮೌತ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇನ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬ್ಲೋ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಡೇ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಬ್ರೆತ್ The great practice to reduce the exertion your body has taken. One more. Only come back. Let us relax in Shiti Latarasana. <clears throat> Legs apart. Palms facing forward. Eyes closed. Relax your body. Your breath could be faster. Let it be. It's fine. allow it to slow down on its own you don't put any effort there your body may be sweating let it sweat out it's a sign that your body is cooling down on its own relax faster you can even breathe out through your mouth a few rounds in through your nostril out through your mouth that's also fine a few rounds start to feel that body changes feeling all the stimulation in the body your knees your hip joint your back shoulders and arms your body was able to stay strong with your arms and your toes may your exhalation heal your body slowly your body temperature is coming back to normal your breath is also slowing down how do we check if you can easily breathe in and out through your nostrils slowly then you are ready to go let us try for two three breaths in through your nostril out through your nostril slow breath one more Since you feel your body is fine your breath is fine let us stand three akaras here okay it will take your relaxation to a deeper level <clears throat> let us try ah uh... Inhale again. Ah. Slowly, you can open your eyes if you feel better. So, let us all come back to sitting position again. Legs stretched out. okay next we'll be we'll be doing a practice called navasana okay so there are certain contraindications to this practice people who are having severe back pain okay and people who are menstruating and then people who have heart issues will avoid this practice so it's all fine and there's some slight aches and pains here and there you can continue but always try to stay close to a wall so that you don't fall back okay because you have to balance yourself on your hip okay i'll tell you how to do so so that if you lean back 
will not roll back. So there's something to support you from back. Okay. If this is the first first time you're practicing this, if you've been regular in yoga practice, I'm sure this is a very common practice you'll you try. But how do we start with? When you sit like this, legs are folded at the knee, you'll support your thighs with your hands. Okay. Legs are not too close. It's wide. Right? Once you come to a position where the foot is firmly grounded, thighs uh, supporting your thighs behind, roll your shoulders back, chest lifted up. So this is spine upright. From here, slightly lean back. Navasana is a V shape of the body. So it could be V or slightly changed. Okay. So this part of the V is will be over if you lean back slightly. Okay. When you feel your back is going round, try to lift the chest up. After reaching here, you slowly start to walk the legs closer and raise one leg. Okay? Take a Navasana with support. Drop the leg down, raise the other leg up. Exhale down. This tremendous effort in keeping the back straight. We're working on that too. How? By engaging the lower abdominal muscles. Keep stretching. Right leg up and down. Left leg up and down. Continue to open the chest. Lift up. Left. Down. Right. Down. Two more. Left. Down. Right. Down. One last. Left up. Down. Right up. And down. If you want to relax before moving your head, just relax. Fine, let's go ahead. It will just is 50%. You still have 50 more percent. Again, once again, okay, leaning back. Now raising one leg up. If you can raise the other leg up, try. So that's difficult for you. Again, stick to the same thing. One leg up, both legs up. Can we stay here without collapsing your back? I ask you to rest, see, when you, you're falling off, right? So what we can do is lean your back onto something and then work on this. It will help you a lot. Okay. Let's try it and stay here for three counts. Is that ready? So again, lean back, raise the legs up. Some of you are comfortable. Keep straightening the leg. Go ahead. Very good. I see one or two. Without collapsing the back. Stay there. Three. Two and one. Very good. Drop the legs down. Hands behind. Take it out. Relax your back. Relax your thighs. Four. Next practice is a twist. Vakrasana. Done this in previous classes also. I'll add a little bit. If you can, you will try that. Okay. So bend the right leg, so the way that the right foot is close to the, in line with the left knee. You need, you need not be close, next to the left knee. Okay. And since the right leg is folded, you'll hold your right knee with your left hand. Okay. Raise the right hand up, twist behind, twist back to your right side. Take the support down and twist the upper body. The hand is still on the right knee. Right knee comes close, comes close to your chest and your body. You're trying to twist back. This could also be done with hugging your right knee with your left. Okay. Stay there. Spine lifts up. Twist happens from the navel. Both sit bones well settled. The stretched leg is also active, not left loose. Stay there. I'll show you the next practice. If you're comfortable, we'll do that. Okay. Now, raising the left hand up, you'll cross the right knee and get the elbow around the right knee. If that is possible, you'll do. Otherwise, stick to hugging the right knee. Once again, left hand goes up, twist, get the elbow around the right knee. That's it. Twist and look back. Do you feel a deeper twist? Feel the abdomen squeezing. 
since it is squeezing that's why i ask menstrual ladies menstruating ladies to avoid this practice excellent practice for people with diabetes digestive disorders stay 3 very good 2 1 slowly release the hands release the leg the last one let's try on the other leg left knee folded at left leg folded at the knee take the right hand around the left knee take the left hand from up and behind keeping the back straight initially you can start by just hugging the left knee twisting 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 from your waist navel looking back get let your body gets used to this twist sometimes you might to lift might lift one sit bone tilt the other sit bone make sure both are at one one level stay there two one see if you can raise the right hand up get the right hand around the knee very good look back stay there three two and one gently release your hands release the leg and relax next practice a deep forward bend okay so again we'll do as much as we can okay first let us build that strength in the core and the lower back by just sitting in danda okay so we'll press the knee to the mat toes pointing to the ceiling back upright chest open shoulders rolled back interlock your finger take the hands up the body looks like an l shape whole body is active stay here shoulders away from your ears not to tighten the neck and the shoulder muscles tighten your knees tighten your thighs glutes lift the spine up you need core strength <clears throat> back strength upper back shoulders and neck okay stay here for three two One, elongate your spine with an inhalation, and exhale. Bend forward from your lower back. If you need not come so far, you could just go here. Okay, I'll show you how to bend forward also. Hands next to the ears, right? So you lean forward along with your hand. So this is how. This is all I can lean forward. After that, I can't go further. Only then will I drop my hands. Okay. Otherwise, what you generally do is you do this. Okay, this is not right. So hands close to the ears. Exhale, lean forward, drop the hands down. You do this few times. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, forward. Also, to note is when you exhale, suck your abdomen in and then bend forward. You might bend a little more than you expect. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Three more of them. One last time. Now exhale and hold wherever you can easily hold your neck. It could be on the knee. below the knee on the shin on the foot wherever you can easily hold without doing this okay you lift the chest up open the chest up look at your big toes or looking ahead let us close our eyes here and feel the body if you are uncomfortable doing this please avoid as you close your eyes start to feel the stretch in the back of your legs it will start from your heel on to your calf muscle see behind the knees and thighs your glutes you will feel the stretch in the lower back around the waist 
now around the tailbone even the middle back upper back shoulders and your arms too the paschima bhaga the back side of your body is stretched fully paschimottanasana a great practice to stretch the whole back more you hold in a posture you will enjoy more unless it is painful stay here for another long breath Slowly inhale, come up. Exhale, lower your hands by the side. Take your hands behind and relax. So it slows down. Notice how you feel throughout the body. One more picture. We are going to practice with a bhujang practice. Okay, you can lie down on your tummy. Okay, it's your time. Relax in Matarasana first. All the steps we did to the back of the body, let us relax. You know, how to come to Matarasana. One palm on top of the other. Rest the side of the head on the palm. Set the palm. Shoulders back. Relax. Heels point each other. Toes point outside. Relax your back. Matarasana is a very good practice to relax spine. Most of the time, the spine takes up the weight of your body, right? So this time, it is less loose, and the body takes care of the weight of your spine. See the abdomen bulging up and down. The body rises up and down with your abdomen. Let us move ahead. Legs together. Hands next to your chest. Elbows close to the body. Now we'll try Bhujangasana. Slowly lift the chin up. Chest up. Lift up only to the navel. Your hands hurt a lot. Do as much as possible. Use your back muscles to lift up, not the hands. Okay, you are able to lift up as much as possible, but you will not struggle with this. Not to do this, lock the elbows and all that. Shoulders down, elbows bent. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. Few more times. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, down. Just two more. Inhale, come up. Exhale down. Once again, inhale up. Exhale down. This time, can we try and hold the posture if you're comfortable on this? Inhale, coming up. Tighten your glutes tight. Hold three, two, one. And you can drop your body down. Relax again in the middle. Take a step. Back side is not easy. Take some time. It's fine. We did with all the support we did. Relax your back. There's one more breath. Ready? Slowly roll on to your back. Come on your back. Start by folding, keep, keeping the knees folded. Okay. And start to press the spine onto the mat. Okay. You feel the spine pressing the mat. Great way to massage the spine. Okay, let the left knee be bent. Stretch out the right leg. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go for cycling with one leg. Okay. How do we start? Palms next to your body, shoulders away from your uh, ears. So start to raise the right leg up. Bend at the knee. Knee comes close to the chest. Now straighten it up. 
let it fall almost down. Once again, bent. So it's like forward, big cycle. It's a very big wheel. So forward, almost down to the mat, but bend it. Let's go for eight of this. Forward cycling, seven, six. When the knee comes close to the chest, exhale. When it stretches out, inhale. Four, three, thighs active, two, and one. Drop the leg down, relax before we do the reverse cycling. <coughs> now, how do we go for reverse cycling? Stretch out first. Inhale, lift up, bend at the knee as you exhale. Push the heel forward. Inhale, come up, exhale. Continue reverse cycle. So it should be the same big cycle. Very good. I can see great cycles here. Cycling, people cycling. Going for four more. Feel that immense strength building up in your thighs, abdominal area. Four pelvic area, lower back. Go for one more reverse cycle and come back, drop the leg down, relax your right leg. Can we try for the left leg? So, again, raising the left leg up, bending at the knee, going for forward cycling eight times. Eight. Go slow. Only then you will feel the weight of your leg and your muscles get more active to bear the weight. Going for six, five, four, three, two, one last, one. You can rest before we start with reverse. Ready for reverse, one breath break, that's it. Now again, bend, reverse, stretch out, bend, out, six, out, five, four, three, two, one last. One, drop the leg down, relax your back, you can spread your legs out, relax in Shavasana. Okay, for one more breath. Next practice, you may have to clo go closer to a wall, okay? I'll show you how to go, <clears throat> and then you can follow me. Roll on to your right side, come to a sitting position. If you want, you can adjust your mat. How to go close to the wall, I'll tell you. Okay? You'll spread your legs out, and get your hip as close to the wall as possible. I'll be using this as a wall, okay? As close to the wall as possible. Stick your hips to the wall, lie down, get the hip little closer to the wall and get both the legs onto the wall like this. Your upper body will lie flat on the mat and your legs will go against the wall. In some cases, what happens, you cannot, some people's hamstrings are very tight. So they cannot get the hip very close to the wall. For them, I asked you to keep a pillow, right? Keep the pillow be below the hip, okay, for support. When the hip slightly rises up, it becomes easy for you to stretch the, or you don't need to stretch so much on your uh, hamstrings or the back of your thigh, okay? So take your time and slowly come up to Viparita Karni. Not the full Viparita Karni, this is half, I could say. 
If you need any adjustments, please do adjustments to your lower back, shoulders, neck, hands spread by the side without any disturbance. <clears throat> Keep the legs against the wall. It takes some time to adjust in this position, may not be comfortable. If you have never done this before, maybe the most difficult one, but do as much as you can. Stay here. Others stay there. I'm just giving you an idea. If you're not able to come here, I could see some senior citizens there. Some were able to do, some were not. So I'll just give you an idea. If you have a chair, I told you to have a chair. Others stay there against the wall. Come close to the chair. Place the folded leg onto the chair and rest like this. This is also very relaxing and equally, yeah, equally relaxing and almost the same practice, okay? Others against the wall, stay there. I'll tell you where to take the away. Sorry for this. As you continue to stay in this position, you start feeling a slight heaviness in your lower back you feel that because the weight is more on the lower back right you'll start to feel there's a more circulation towards your thighs and your abdominal area you might feel or might not feel it's okay continue to stay here for some you might feel slight chillness in your toes and your feet. You may or may not, it's fine. Start feeling the thighs heavy, lower back and your hip heavy. It's an excellent practice for almost may, many, many illness, I could say, okay? Unless you have difficulty in coming to the posi this position, it's a very good practice for everyone I can see. People having, um, what is that called? So, bulged nerve, I'm not getting it right now. Uh, for them, it is a very good practice. People who stand for a long time during the day, it's a very great practice to end the day with this practice and then, then lie down and sleep. People having digestive issues, heart problem, blood pressure, reproductory issues, all of them, uh, thyroid, many, many illnesses could be addressed with this posture. You'll feel very relaxed after this. Stay here for another three more breaths. Feeling all that sensation happening in your legs. Take another long breath. From here, you could slowly bend the knee, get the soles touching each other, and then come into Baddha Konasana from here. And slide the legs closer, you know, widely spreading the knees apart. Baddha Konasana, I meant. Soles touch each other, bend at the knees, get the heel closer to the groin. Gravity pull will, will pull the heel down automatically. Just don't have to put too much of effort. This feels great. You'll feel a stretch in the inner thigh. The butterfly pose which we do sitting, this comes naturally with gravity. You can place your hands on the knee if you want to support it. This feels great on the legs and the back. Stay here. Stay for one more breath here.
stretch your legs up once again. People who've done in the chair, just stay there. Spread out, stretch the legs up once again. <coughs> You could take up a challenge and do this practice every day, your self challenge to do this every day before going to bed. Okay. But make sure only that you have eaten your dinner a little earlier, maybe at least two hours gap before you attempt this practice. If you are a person early eater, very good practice to do before going to sleep. Initially, you could stay for a minute and slowly increase it up to five minutes. Okay, and feel the difference and let us uh, know what your experience was. You can slowly drop one leg at a time, whichever side is comfortable for you. And roll on to that side completely and stay there before we come up. Now feel the change, how you're feeling on your legs. After we have held, held it up for some time against the gravity. How do you feel? Feeling the blood rush? Slowly come up. You could be in an odd position on the mat. So take your time. Come back, lie down on your back in Shavasana. Come to Shavasana. Feel the effect of all the practices on your body. How does your legs feel after legs up against the gravity? How does your back feel, abdomen feel? Scanning the whole body as a whole. Relax. <coughs> Once you feel your body is resting well, take your awareness to your abdomen, bulging up and down with your breath. Let's do this observation for five breaths. Always insist on relaxing your facial muscle in any practice. Even if you're doing a just simple breathing practice, relax your face. That will show you that you're not putting too much of effort into any practice. Right? The smile will automatically show up. Continue. Let us chant Akara three times. Again, feel the vibration in the lower part of the body, starting from the navel. It says that it shows that Akara is produced from the navel. Epicenter of the sound is from the navel. So when the musicians will know, understand what you mean by getting the sound from inside, Nabhi, right? So if you can get that, get the sound of Akara from inside through the navel from the navel. If you're not getting it, it's fine. Just chant Akara the way you know. Let's go for three rounds. Inhale. Uh... Uh...
Enjoy a deep sense of silence, deep sense of relaxation. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Get your legs closer, hands closer. Raise your right hand up above your head, bending the left knee, roll on to your right side. Left palm in front of your chest to support. <coughs> Stay here. Slowly bend the knees, press your palms to sitting position. Bring your back straight. Take five more minutes. Please bear with it. Left hand, you let up chin mudra. We'll do our next practice called Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. We've been practicing for a few days. So first two fingers folded. Your thumb and, index and your ring finger is used to close your nostril. Okay, since you know the practice, we'll try to go ahead. First round, I'll give instructions. The next four rounds, you'll do it on your own. Okay. Exhale through both the nostrils out. Keeping your back straight, very important. Close your right nostril in through your left. Close your left, exhale out right. In through your right. Close your right, exhale left. This becomes first cycle. Continue doing it. Left in, right out, right in, left out. For four more cycles. I suggest you keep your awareness only to the nostril. Feeling all the sensations you feel in the walls of your nostril. Don't go beyond. Just be with the nostril. Cool air entering one nostril. Warm air exiting the right. Cool air entering the right. Warm exiting the left. Continue. People having cold can do so simple breathing because you know some of their nostrils may be blocked, like me. Others continue. <clears throat> simple deep breathing should go. Take your time to complete the practice, five rounds. <clears throat>
if you are almost close to the practice you would exhale through the left nostril and finish after you're done release your hands come back to chin mudra on both hands feeling the balance in your body in your breath in yourself we just activated the major two major nadis <coughs> which go along the spine raida and pingala nadi just responsible for activating the opposite side of the body at physical level definitely we can feel the difference what about the mind level and the breath level do you feel that centering do you feel that balance there's no fluctuation at all the mind is not running around at all just settle down you should give some time to understand and experience the after effect of nadi shuddhi pranayama may we remain in the state of mind throughout may the lord grace us with this blessing to stay in the state of mind come what may in this come situation whatever situation comes in praying the lord let us get our palms together at the heart center <clears throat> three omkaras inhale let us close with our closing prayer om sarve bhavantu sukhinaha sarve santu niramaya सर्वे पश्यन्तु दुख भाग भवे ओम शांते 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 <coughs> so take your hands behind. You can interlock your fingers or hold the right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, bend forward. Bow down as much as you can. Visualize your Ishta Devata in front of you. Bow down and surrender yourself to the Lord. Seek His blessings. Gently inhale. Come up. <coughs> Rub your palms. Generate heat. Transfer that warmth to your major joints where you feel the pain, where you want to take the healing to. Let your body heal with the energy which you produced. Once again, rub your palms. Cup your cheeks. Cup your eyes. Look into the deep darkness. Be ready to come out of the darkness slowly. Bring your palms in front of your face. Blink open and look into your palms. Thank you so much for being in this class, and I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for taking a little while. Little planning, so that that's very pretty. The journey was a little time taking. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you so much for joining. <coughs> Have a great evening, all of you. Thank you.
ja. Thanks. Thanks, Preeti. That only got this cold. Thank you. Have a great evening, all, all of you. It's already 10 minutes late now. Good day. Take care. See you all tomorrow.